Hello again everyone. Uh, I'm doing the Steins Gate Episode 5 review today and I have to say the series is just getting better and better. I mean there was a part in this episode that I mean the beginning the beginning's episodes are always slow but they're still entertaining and then midwayers say they bring a bombshell in that keeps you extremely entertained at the end of this episode I was on the edge of my seat literally and my hair was sticking up in the back of my neck I was so excited about what I was finding out and I'll get into that later but I mean as I said I think it was in the first review I made of this series I always think that I like Naruto and I like Bleach and I like the uh, fighting animes like that but the most you feel like that is, well, I don't want this one character to get killed, whatever. And then it's, oh man, that character got killed, or yay, that character didn't get killed, he came back, or she came back, or whatever. But, none of them actually keep you on the edge of your seat. I'm taking notes on each uh, episode I watch so that I can better do a better review. Let me just, let me get this real quick. Oh, seriously, with a pin in my mouth. Like this. Right under here. Watching this series. When I found something out at the end. Like I said, I'll explain that near the end of the review. But um, let's go over some other things first. The part-time worker. She's starting to really intrigue me because of certain reactions that she did throughout the episode. First of them was the very beginning when Mikaze came with a car and they were carrying the IBM 5100 up. All of a sudden, the part time worker, I can't remember her name, there's so many different names and stuff, and she's one of those that doesn't get her name. It's like Suzuha or something like that. She doesn't get her name said very much, but you know who I'm talking about. As soon as she saw Mikaze, she jumped up. She said it had some kind of stick or something, and she got down in battle stance. As you she's about to attack Mikaze. That got resolved peacefully, but it definitely made you wonder what the hell was going on. And then later, she was talking to Karin, and she mentioned and acted a few things that got me really suspicious about who, just who the hell she is, what does she know, and all that down the line. She mentioned she had a friend that um, knew a lot about the IBN 5100s, but that he was dead. He died years ago. And there was something about the way she said that did CERN have part of it? Was he in CERN? You know, there's so many questions that with each thing you find out that, that can be raised about this series. And it's just, it really intrigues you. It keeps you guessing. That's my love about it. Also, she said that Mikaze didn't know anything yet but to be wary of her. That kind of contradicts what I thought last review that Mikaze knows more than she's um, letting out. But maybe she knows and is playing everybody, which I really don't. I don't want that to happen unless she turns out to be good in the end. Because personally, I really like her as a character. You know, she's really cute. I like her personality. And if she turned out to be a bad guy, why well, it definitely wouldn't ruin the series for me. I wouldn't really like that turn of events, so I'm hoping that's not what's going to happen. But I'm wondering, is it something that she does know? She somehow subconsciously knows where her current state of mind doesn't know that she knows, if that makes any sense. Like, she knows in the back of her head, but she doesn't realize she knows it. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. These are just my theories. I could be right, and I could be wrong. Nothing. When the helicopter went overhead... All of a sudden, the part-time worker jumped back at that battle stand and said, Bombs! You know? Like, they were bombing them. Why does she know? Why is she so freaked out? I mean, if you're hanging out with your friends or whatever, and a helicopter doesn't go over your, it goes over your head, do one of your friends do like this? No. And don't get into battle stands and stuff like that. You'd think they were fucking weird if they did that. So, there's something definitely odd about her. she got some connection to something, or I don't know. I'm really seeing how interested in seeing how her character plays out. Another thing with Kaze said that got me was that she just wants to know the truth. Again, this might be 
pointing her to something that she knows subconsciously that she really doesn't realize she knows or she'd still be playing everybody I don't know that line interested me also one more thing that O'Connor uh, Karin said he stated that he believed that um, CERN programmed the IBN 5100's language for their own purposes and of course because they just this is eh, you know, forget that, that's not true or whatever. Even though she does say something to the point that it could be true, but she doesn't believe it, she's iffy about it, she dismisses it really quick. But I believe this is a very, very good possibility. Okay, in the end of the episode, this is what happened on the edge of my seat because they were talking about how uh, Daru, he was able to hack the, um, or get the IBN 5100 to work, and they started getting through reports, and they found out that there were human experiments that had been killed. We, we already knew that from previous episode, but really, really got into that, and there was an experiment that happened on January 28th of 2005 where the victim was found dead April 3rd 1921 and the victim was jelly eyes in that green gl gl um, goo substance that the gel banners were so we know that definitely has something to do with the whole time travel scenario the black hole, the lifter, they were talking about trying to get the time travel to work. And because they said it would be like she had her hand like this and she took a wet sponge, she started doing like this and she said it'd be like trying to force that sponge through the hole. What happens when we do that? Of course, the water comes out, which is how I believe the humans got jailed. But the most interesting part about that, and what he had me on the edge of my seat, because it did a couple more of the. Uh, experiment dates and uh, the date that they were found dead. The experiment date was also all recent in the 2000s. But the dates when the experiment, uh, the victims or whatever you want to call them were found dead was way back in the past. So Time travel so far it seems to be working, but it, it doesn't work so well with test subjects. So CERN's got the uh, the process down, and at least O'Connor's organization does too with his microwave. But I mean, it just gets really interesting, and it's really fun. Some fun facts are one thing I want to ask, and this is probably something the uh, animators or the director or the writer or whatever made up but when O'Connor and, and Mikasa are playing that game this looks like some kind of odd strategy game uh, I don't remember the name off the top of my head and uh, I was wondering if that was a real game if anybody happens to know if that's a real game I'm not really hoping much like I said I'm, it's probably just uh, something made up but if it is let me know and we'll try to get my hands on it another thing is I think Mikasa is very soft in a way because now she's always quick to jump to conclusions, quick to anger in a way, and you know she's she's like that. She's very err. Well, when o, when she called Okarin Okarin, huh, he started freaking out and started talking about how to call him by his other name that he likes, and she got really timid and afraid of him. And you know that that, that makes I think that makes her out to be very soft kind of a victim, of course, as I was stating earlier, that could be some kind of her playing everybody, I don't know. Who knows? I mean, it's one of those series that, you know, I kind of want to see it end because I want to know where everything leads, but in the end, it's over. It's all over. We figured it all out. That chasing isn't there anymore. And so it's kind of double-edged sword in that thing, but who knows. Um, one more thing. To anybody that's going to an amazement this year, I am going to go and try to go as a Karin. So that would be fun if you see somebody dressed up as a Karin there. And I'm hoping I'll be one of the few if 
not the only one because it's a fairly new anime and all my friends haven't heard of it yet so who knows of course there's going to be a lot of people there so it wouldn't surprise me if there were a couple more but you know if you're happening to watch these videos and you see me walking around as a car in there just say hey what's up I'm watching your retail YouTube videos just let me know uh, guys peace out um, I know this review is a little late and I apologize for that I have personally been trying to keep up with the um, Doctor Who uh, TV series because my friends kept mentioning it. I had never watched it before, surprisingly, because now I found out it's right up my alley. But I'm trying to catch up with the new series, and I just wanted to explain that to show you why I haven't watched the new Steins Gate and reviewed it until now. The newest episode comes out Tuesday, I believe. So, I'm going to try to get that one done, you know pretty quickly after Tuesday, so any fans that are actually following me don't have to wait. Laters, everyone.